Hello, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and this is your first time. In today's video, I am going to be sharing five steps or five tips for doing an SEO audit on your Squarespace website. So doing an SEO audit on your Squarespace website, many people decide when they are interested in learning about SEO and they're like, I need to improve the web, the SEO of my website. I don't know where to begin. Then often one of the things that Google recommends first is to do an audit on your website. And you're probably thinking, great, okay, cool. But what does that mean, right? You don't know what's involved in an SEO audit for your Squarespace website. And of course, like, why would you? You've never done, you've never done one before. This is completely new. So I'm here as a Squarespace SEO expert to plot it out for you step by step by step and I'm going to be sharing five tips on what to do so if you're taking the DIY route this is going to be so helpful for you because it's it's an action plan that you can follow so that's what we're going to be going through today but before we dive right in I wanted to let you know that over here on my website I have a Squarespace SEO checklist and if you're doing an audit then this is <laughs> then this SEO checklist is going to be so helpful for you. It's one page. It's a free download. It literally will walk you through all the different things you need to make sure that are taken care of on your Squarespace website. So whether you're a complete beginner, a bit more intermediate, you want to make sure that you haven't missed anything along the way, you've dotted your I's, crossed your T's, as they say, then this SEO checklist is for you. And it's been downloaded thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So trust that you are an excellent company and um, I know that you're gonna love it just as much as everyone else does. So I can't wait for you to grab it. It's linked down below and you're welcome in advance. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about, well, not a little bit, fully, about how we are going to actually do this SEO audit on our Squarespace website, okay? What are the steps we take? And I've got it here so you can see, um, you know, follow along with me while I talk and kind of teach you what the process is. So the very first thing you're gonna do is take inventory of the content on your Squarespace website. So what I want you to do is not just, like, don't just have your website open on the front end. And again, the front end is like, here you can see I'm like I'm viewing it as someone and I'm like looking here instead I want you to log into the back end of your website because that will give you a really full overview of what kind of content you have what are you working with all of the different pages that exist right like if you're viewing the front end all you can really see easily is like what's in the main navigation. And we wanna see much more than just that. So again, log into the back end of your website and take a look of like, what kind of content do you have? What are all of the pages that you have on your website? Um, what product pages do you have? How many blog posts do you have? And if so, what blog posts are they? You know, galleries that you have, portfolio pieces, whatever it is. And how is it all structured and formatted, right? So, you know, you can even look at like, you know, is, is it built up with index pages? Is it simple, just kind of like a heading image, text below? Like, what is, what is it kind of containing? Another thing as well that I want you to do is can search engines and people easily navigate through the content to find the different, you know, main offerings that you have? So is there a clear navigation? Do you have easy to work with folders that maybe drop down? Like, you know, can someone get within like one or two clicks to see your services or the products that you're selling? Like you're not hiding content down below, you know what I mean? Um, and then are there any, okay, this is another one. Is there any like redundant or old or out of date content that maybe you could just delete entirely because you don't need it and you don't need search engines crawling it. So again, on the back end of your website in the not linked section on the left-hand side, when you log in the not linked pages, you're probably, you know, depending on how old your website is, if you set it up, if someone else did, there might be some, you know, old pages that you don't need anymore. Like, can you tidy that up? things like that, or out of date content. Maybe we're talking about an event that happened years later and you're like, we don't need that page anymore. The event is done, you know, things like that. And then also, this is the big one here. Is there any gap in the content, right? Like thinking about it and being like, hmm, okay, I know the keywords that I want to rank for. And if you're thinking, oh, I don't know which keywords I want to rank for, then take a minute and just do this click over to the link on the video that I'm going to share here that walks you through how to do a step-by-step -step keyword brainstorming research um, and exercise so that you know what keywords you want to rank for. 
But knowing that you might be like, oh, there's some gaps in my content. I actually don't have anything that talks about this thing. Or maybe I need to write new blog posts about all of these adjacent keywords, you know, things like that. So that's step one. Then step number two is for each page, again, you're going to go through it very slowly. Like I say, do not rush. You're going to go through the pages, the blog posts, the product pages on your website one by one. And I want you to improve in this step. You're thinking about how can I improve the existing content on your website? Okay. So in this step, improving the existing content on your website, that means making sure that some of these factors, these following factors are all keyword rich and SEO friendly. So that means making sure that you're including keywords in your like the titles, like the page title or the blog post title, the product title in the headers. So H1, two, three in the body content, you know, uh, the URL slugs, the links and the anchor text, the images, how are you naming your images? Are, are you naming the physical file name, like the image alt text, all that sort of thing. So again, do not rush this. It might take you like a short amount of time. Maybe you only have like a couple pages on your website. However, maybe you have a lot more pages and a lot of old blog posts and you're going to need to go through them slowly. And that's okay because it's time well spent, I promise you. Then step number three is you're going to plan out any new content. So again, remember in step two, we talked about existing content and optimizing existing content. And now step three is basically like filling in the gaps being like, oh, okay. Like, you know, we need to add these new pages or new blog posts or whatever. So how can we do that? And then more importantly, what needs to get done first? So how are we going to prioritize all this content that we're going to create over the next little while? Because some of it might happen really quickly. And then other things like maybe some of the blog posts, they might be rolled out over the next couple of weeks or months. So you need to think about what is being prioritized in that new content. And then including all of the factors that we talked about on improving existing content, you want to make sure that you're doing that as well for the new content that you're adding on your Squarespace website. Okay. And then point number four is that you want to review the SEO settings on the back end of your Squarespace website. So I always joke, I call it the holy trinity of Squarespace SEO. We've got number one, make sure you're connected and verified to Google Search Console. Number two, make sure you filled out the SEO description, the site description for your website as a whole. And number three, make sure you filled out the SEO description fields for all the different, all the different pages, blog posts, products, things like that. And if you want a bit more information on this particular one, like the these settings, the like holy trinity, as I call it, then I'm going to link up above to a video that walks you through these three steps um, in much more detail. So click the link below and that will help you to get started on the settings for your website, the SEO settings on your Squarespace website. All right. And then that brings us to point number five, which is when in doubt, consult a pro. Because here's the thing, you can do a DIY SEO audit on your Squarespace website, you can do it no problem. But the thing is, you don't have to like you can work with someone like me, I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. And I have all I do basically is work directly with people and give them SEO audits and consulting sessions and figure out how to improve it. So again, I'm going to link down below to my Squarespace SEO audit and consulting session so that you can learn more about it. But it's like, you know, I, I joke here. I'm like, it is worth the time and money because sometimes you want to just stay in your zone of genius. And instead you want to work with a pro and have them be like, okay, do this step by step by step. Here's a much more detailed action plan. Go for it. Right? Like, of course you can do this audit yourself, but sometimes you just want someone to, you know, sometimes hold your hand or else give you the exact steps to follow, you know, whatever it happens to be. So when in doubt, consult a pro. And if you're watching this video, I would obviously recommend myself for it. So my friends, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial about five steps you can take to give your website a SEO audit, specifically if you're talking about a Squarespace website. And don't forget, you can grab a copy of the free Squarespace SEO checklist. I'm going to link to it down below. And if you do decide you want to work together, then the link's in the description. You can reach out, get in touch, and I'm sure that 
we would work really well together. I'm so excited already to be working with you. And if you enjoyed this video, or if you want to learn more about SEO, Squarespace websites, um, growing your website, online marketing, all that sort of thing, then take a look at the other videos that I have on my YouTube channel or um, on my blog as well. I have tons more content that you can enjoy. And um, feel free to like this video, leave me a comment as well if you found it helpful. And that's it. I'm going to leave you here for now because the light's really starting to come on in. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and I look forward to working with you. Bye.